The iconic Vogue continues to be one of the top magazines since 1892, selling hundreds of thousands of copies every month. Vogue Codes has been a popular event nationally, encouraging women to embrace and be empowered by technology. Vogue are the creators of the digital future and they really understand that every future career will be touched by technology. Now, Vogue Codes, it was established in 2016. It challenges perceptions of an historically male-dominant industry by creating a platform for some of the world's most influential and inspiring female tech and business entrepreneurs and business trailblazers. It's fantastic, and I'm absolutely delighted to have James Bartle join Sunday edition this morning. Now, James is one of the key speakers this Wednesday, the 5th of June, in Melbourne at the event, and is also the founder of Outland Denim. Good morning to you, James, and congratulations on such an amazing career to date. I absolutely love your story behind Outland Denim. So can you share your story and some of your core values? Yeah, well, look, thank you very much for having me this morning. And um, look, yeah, our mission um, started eight years ago, and it was um, absolutely to be able to give young women um, the the future that we get to enjoy, enjoy here in the West. And that looked like finding women that have been exploited or are vulnerable to being exploited in a range of different ways and then giving them a career and um, all, all the framework that they need to be successful themselves. So to be able to align with Vogue codes and uh, speak in Melbourne um, is, is a huge honour because it's absolutely what we are about. It is a huge honour to be part of Vogue Codes, but an honour for Vogue Codes to have you as well. I'm just going to play your Outland Denim ad and uh, we'll just uh, talk about it afterwards. When I was young, my family was very poor. When I was 15 years old, I was abused. I have a disability and cannot use one leg and one of my arms. I used to work in a garment factory. When the chemicals touched my skin, I developed red welts. When I was 17 years old, I was raped by my own father. That is just sensational. I tell you what, I can't imagine there's going to be a high staff turnover and certainly lots of people applying for jobs for Outland Denim. Talk us through, James, why you came about uh, actually starting off this amazing organisation the way you're doing it. Look, I, um, I had the opportunity to travel through Southeast Asia and it was while I was in Thailand that I came across um, a little girl that was for sale and... You know, seeing her that, that night was um, a life-changing moment where, you, you know, you can't unsee what you've seen. And, you know, going into the problem of um, women right across the world being made vulnerable, it was really clear that it had to be an economic solution. And so for us, that, that meant the start of our journey in creating this denim brand that um, gave them what they need to be able to be successful on their own. And, you know, the results we've seen from this has been incredible. We've, we've seen these women be able to... Um, buy land and build houses and, you know, one of the most incredible moments that, that we've had to date is hearing one of the ladies' stories of being able to buy her sister back that was owned by somebody else. So, so for us, um, it was inspired by seeing the need and, you know, the sad part is that this need is um, right the way across the globe. Um, even here in Australia, we have, we have some of the same problems. And so um, being able to work in any way we can with anybody that we can to be able to solve this problem and empower women is one of the really important parts of what we do. And so, again, this is where the, the Vogue Codes um, are really um, trying to invest into young women and be able to educate them and bring them into, um, into these places of, you know, seeing that the STEMS area as being a really important part of um, the future for women. And you are one of the key speakers in Melbourne, as you mentioned, for the Vogue Code Summit on Wednesday. I can certainly see why you are. Mainly women at this event is one of codes, uh, Vogue Codes aim to a gender imbalance in the technology industry. What would you say to inspire and encourage women and men, of course, to be the next creators of the digital future innovators? Look, I... I... It did, the digital world is, is definitely upon us and there isn't an industry that isn't touched by it now and so it's absolutely the future and I guess that opens up lots of opportunity for men and women alike um, to be able to follow their, their career choice from anywhere. I mean, our head office is based on Mount Tambourine in the scenic rim 
the Gold Coast hinterland, and we run an international business from there. And that's, that's because of um, technology and, and being able to use technology um, to be able to operate such a business. So I think um, now that the world has been made so much smaller and the opportunities are, are so much greater as a result of technology, so being able to uh, equip ourselves and for young women to equip themselves um, and, and see the opportunities that, that lie there for them is a really important thing. It certainly is, and there's an extraordinary lineup of speakers, including yourself, around the country for Vogue Codes. And we've also got Vogue Kids. It's encouraging primary school children to interact with and learn about technology during such an interactive and engaging coding workshop and also learning about how to make their own games. It's an extremely educational lineup here, including Karen Walker as well. We've got Maggie Palmer, the founder of CEO of Pep Talk Her. I mean, you can check on the website for people listening just to, to see how many extraordinary people there, there are. But, uh, yes, Vocodes Live certainly aimed at millennials as well, creating a platform for young women starting out in their careers to engage and be inspired by leading entrepreneurial women and men in tech regions. So, finally, what is next for Outline Denim and James Bartle? Oh, well, there's so much on the horizon for us, but, um, you know, we're really excited to be able to expand our reach at the moment and move into new regions. So we're, we're currently looking at moving into the US and the UK, and I guess that's, that's exciting for us because um, by being able to move into new areas and sell more jeans... Um, we're able to employ more people and that's really the bottom line for us is to be able to employ these women and um, see that their futures can change not because we've changed it for them but because they've had the opp opportunity to change it themselves. You are so inspiring and I wish you all the best for your career and for all of your team. It's so, so fantastic and thank you for joining us this morning on Sunday Edition. James Bartle, the founder of Outland Denims and good, good luck at Vogue Codes as well. Tickets are still available thank in you. Melbourne. Thank you so much. So you can head to the website for more information. That's vogue.com.au forward slash vogue hyphen codes. What a remarkable man, James Bartel.